Hey guys, remember when I actually uploaded videos? I don't either. I am Game Guy. It's time for more Let's Play Pikmin 3. That was a close call. We almost went like another two weeks without a video. Those little guys sure are helpful. Yeah, if our mission is a success, we should have a party to thank all the little Pikmin. That sounds like a fun time. So we gotta go back to the distant tundra. It's full of tundras that are pretty distant. I don't know if you've noticed that or not. But, uh, you know. We built a bridge last time. And opened up a cave. That's pretty much all we have done, in case you are not aware. I'm just gonna skip that now. Um, yes. So, truth be told, this is like another recording of this particular episode. I had another one recorded previously, but... Things did not really work out the way I had planned. It's, it's kind of awkward. Mostly due to my cold. Let's just leave it at that. <laughs> but over here, I was already here last time, but this day... Oh man, there's some red awesome stuff over there. I'm gonna have to go get that after glitching out a swooping snitch bug so he goes swooping in midair. Okay, I guess. I, I don't know. Swooping snitch bugs are weird, I suppose. I need to throw Brittany over there. Um, I didn't really need you guys to leave, but that's okay. I probably want to kill you, also. Um, you guys don't need to do that right now. There is other stuff to get up on this ledge. I'm not too concerned with it right now. So, I'm just gonna kind of ignore it for the most part. However, uh, I'm gonna leave some Pikmin here, and you will find out in a little while why I do such things. I'm just gonna leave, uh, let's... I don't know, ten red Pikmin should probably do the job well enough. There's a data file there I, I could have gotten, but I didn't. Oh well. So, you might be wondering... Well, what's so special about berries? Golly, I don't even know what those are. There's a cherry up there that I'm not going to even bother to get. Because I'm kind of on a time crunch here. Oh man, we've got an incoming call from the Drake. Whatever could it be about? Oh my gosh, it's a berry! Oh! So if the berries just come back, does that mean we have like an unlimited supply of fruit? Because that would be great. No, this is the ultra spicy berry. It's unsuitable for consumption. Darn, I thought I found a plot hole. What a bummer. Maybe we can use it for something else. Probably, if you've ever played a Pikmin game before, you would know exactly what else it could be used for. Uh, but what's fun about those is they function like all the, uh, the bridge building parts and whatnot. So you can just leave your Pikmin there and slowly farm some delicious berries, some red awesome juices and whatnot. Um, so yeah, yeah, that's kind of neat. Uh, over time, we're going to go ahead and get some of that. I'm going to get interrupted at some point, inevitably. But it's okay, it's totally worth it. I feel a warm breeze in here. Hmm, I wonder why you feel a warm br Oh, because there's fire! I understand. Well, it's okay, I'm alright with fire. Or at least my red Pikmin are. They, they don't seem to care, actually. They're pretty much alright with just uh, being thrown into flames willy-nilly. Um, aw, I lost one. I am sad about things, and also on fire. Probably should not touch the fire. I was all, like, focused on the, on the guy there that I completely, like, wasn't paying attention, but it's alright, it's alright. It is okay, it's okay. We, we did a thing. Hooray! Oh, man. Well, that's interesting. The strong light caused them to bloom. Woohoo! That's a candy plop, bud. It plops. Pikmin out if you throw them in. Yes, if you throw your Pikmin in, they become the same color as the plant. It's a, a miracle of nature or science. I can't decide which. Ah, uh, so I won't. Oh, man, I'm going to get interrupted by Mr. Drake. Dr. Professor Drake. What do you have to say to me, sir? Other than the fact that you are a robot. Oh, man, look, we got stuff. Ah, yes. On some planets, this nectar is like a semisphere. It's kind of weird looking. But, okay. Um, yes, you can spray your Pikmin with spicy, spacey nectar. I don't know. <laughs> Yes, this red awesome stuff is pretty awesome. 
explorers can collect it directly! Oh man, you could find it from like eggs and stuff. Hooray! Ah, so I press the up button to do a thing. Hooray! I can't wait to see what happens. Basically, your Pikmin go all like super duper mode. It's pretty great. Um, I'm gonna break these crystals that seem ever so somewhat familiar. <laughs> Golly! I am having the deja vu right about now. Oh no, enemies! These are skitter leaves, by the way. I have hiccups, by the way. Um, you don't particularly want to mess with them because someone was here. No, because uh, they actually kill your Pikmin pretty fast. I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing. Oh no, it looks like someone took a tumble here. Was it Louie again? I bet it was. What a loser. That's why his name is Louie, because it goes straight into the word loser. Also, I buried something here. Because, I don't know, Olimar is a pirate. That is that is the conclusion I'm going to draw. Also, hey, there was a there were eggs here. Those weren't here before. Oh man, delicious nectar! A flower bloomed in the Pikmin's head! Oh! Yay, we finally get to see Nectar. It's about time, actually. <laughs> um, Nectar actually works a little bit different in this game, despite doing exactly the same thing. Mostly because, like, you can't throw a single Pikmin on it, and it's, like, that one Pikmin is, like, the sole eater of that Nectar. Like, you actually, they actually share now, which is really nice, because they didn't do that in previous games. So I'm just going to kind of throw like a random assortment of Pikmin up here until I don't hear any slurping noises no more. Alf, you are not a Pikmin. Please stop trying to be what you are not. <laughs> George, I will come back for you later. In the meantime, we have Boulder Man over here. I don't know why Olimar decided to bury Boulder Man, but... I mean, I, I guess if you want, you can bury Boulder Man. Boulder Man's not very tough, but all right. Now, we read earlier that yellow Pikmin are good at digging, but I actually want to keep my yellow Pikmin, so I'm going to let the red guys do it, because I don't really have much of a use for the red guys right now. So, uh, they're just going to stay there. Indubitably. I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so yeah, now that that is underway, we'll find out what that is in a moment when there's a cutscene that interrupts me, because this game is great like that. But in the meantime, we get to go through here. This seems like all sorts of deja vu-ville! Population, uh, 75. Well, actually, it's, it's 76 plus 1, because Alf is here, too. I'm sorry, Alf, I forgot you existed, but it's okay. I'm just going to throw Pikmin at these guys, and they aren't really a threat whatsoever, because they don't like the light. Sorry, guys, but you're dead. It feels like there's something in here. There's like this pod thing here, which um, will spawn more of these guys if you let it do that. But it also spawns nectar, which you can also lock onto and just have your Pikmin go straight towards if you want. Kind of a nice little uh, thing you can do there. Having fast Pikmin in here probably is a good idea. I don't know if you could figure out why. Probably because there's a thing over here that's completely unrelated to where we're at right now. What's this? I feel like I've seen it somewhere before, but where? Oh, we need to analyze it with the Drake. Well, all right, if you say so. In the meantime, I was trying to switch to yellow Pikmin so I could get up here. Hooray! I can see the light. That guy doesn't seem to like the light very much. Golly, I wonder why. What a jerk. Oh no, you're scary. Please fly away and never come back. What's going on here? The cop pad radar detects signals of life, but that doesn't look like the captain. Well, maybe if I tilt my head at like a 45 degree angle and... Look at it really squintily. I think maybe then it'll look like the captain. Yeah, probably. He really let himself go. I agree. <laughs> again, there's like a lot of stuff I can get here. Like, up oh, there's a fruit. Uh, I don't really want that right now, because again, I'm on kind of a time crunch here, if you can believe it. <laughs> uh, but yes. Oh no, it's the vehement Vosbat! Oh, it doesn't like light. I already figured that out. I don't know if it's Foes Bat or Phase Bat, or I don't even know. Uh, it's probably based off the word Phosphorus, maybe? It's, I don't know, 
Fosbat. Who knows? More of these pod things here. Let's just break that before it has a chance to do anything. Uh, so basically, this is the boss fight. Uh, the gimmick of this fight is more or less you want to fake the guy out while you work on other stuff. Because it's kind of like a puzzle boss, actually. Um, you want to go ahead and um, build a bridge. Ironically, is uh, the, 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 the goal of today's mission is to build a bridge. Um, actually, there is a little electric thingy going on here. I, I didn't really mean to stop throwing Pikmin at this, because I kind of want them to go if I can help it. Because uh, they're going to try to be... Well, this guy's going to try to eat my Pikmin right now, which means I, I kind of have to stop them from going at the moment. Actually, what I could do is if you light up all the light bulbs here, it'll actually stun the guy, which is pretty useful, I think. Uh, well, it actually doesn't stun the guy, but it makes it so he won't go anywhere near you, I believe, is how it works. I'm not entirely certain on that one. But, uh, you actually are pretty safe in the light. So if you want to, like, hide out in the light, that's, uh, it's your choice. Um, there's a climbing stick here. Oh man, climbing stick! I can go on one of those if I want. I can also get all of my Pikmin friends to go up there, too. Hey there, doo doo doo! Well, you do 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 face guy, you're weird. I should probably get all of my Pikmin back before uh, an unsanitary catastrophe happens. That would be bad or something. You want to, like, interrupt me with this thing? I, I knew this was coming, but still. <laughs> oh, a message from Drake. We're totally not in potential danger right now or anything. Oh, man, we recovered an item. Golly, what could it be other than sideways anti-electrifier? This undergarment protects you from electricity. Man, if only my underpants protect me from electricity, the world would be better place, I'm sure. Wow, there's even a manual for underwear? Hooray! <laughs> now I will never... I, I'm not going to finish this conversation. Uh, anyway, now that that's happened, we are electric-proof. Now I can touch electrified objects. I can go and touch those uh, crazy things that make my hair stand on end all I want, and it won't do nothing. Ha! <laughs> Joke's on you, electricity. <laughs> so anyway, the point of building this bridge is to get over to here. Such high electricity levels. This is a job for yellow people. Well, it's just sh sure is a good thing I have some of those. <laughs> if you throw a bunch of Pikmin up there, guess what happens? The biggest light bulb appears. And lights up the whole room. There's actually, like, a few ways you could fight this guy. Uh, one of them being lighting up the light bulbs while he's nearby, and it would stun him. This way keeps him in a vulnerable state the entire time. Also, I'm gonna go ahead and use some red awesomeness. Oh, man. The pigment got a real boost there! Oh, that awesome spicy essence seems to have put them into aggressive mood. Also known as pink flashy mode. I don't know. So, now he's vulnerable, so you want to throw, like, all your Pikmin at him until he dies. But not for very long, because he's going to do that thing. Um, yes. You should be able to throw yellow Pikmin at him during this particular part. Uh, then he's going to, like, hang on a wall for a bit. Uh, well, sometimes he does. Other times he'll fall to the ground. Uh, but, oh no, you're going to try to eat my Pikmin. Stop it! You're a meanie pants! There's a thingy here that I didn't notice before. Ah, oh, take refuge in brightly lit areas. Well, the whole room is brightly lit, but, uh, details, I guess. Aren't you gonna, like... Oh, I guess you're gonna try to eat me again. Well, that's gonna clearly work. Let's just go ahead and throw rock Pikmin at you, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what else to do other than throw Pikmin at you until you die. That's just my general strategy of champions here. Uh, if you're gonna try to, like, eat me, that'd be nice. Mr. Sir Guy, since you're not gonna, like, fall down, I'm gonna have to, like, throw Pikmin at you until you do. Good golly, sir! You do not seem to like being hit by stuff. But, uh, that's alright, I don't really blame you. Oh no! Call them back with me! It's kind of like the, um... I don't know what to call it exactly. 
the, uh, the the thing with the stuff and the stuff and the stuff. You, you know the the poison cloud attack that most enemies had in Pikmin 2. You know that th yeah. Every single enemy in Pikmin 2 was a poison <laughs> entity of some sort. Clearly, that is what it is. Whoops, I I keep messing that up. I don't want to do that exactly. But uh, oh well. He is almost dead now. Oh no, my Pikmin are like all over the place again. Why must the world be cruel? I don't know, I'm just leaving like a trail of yellow Pikmin all over the place. <laughs> no, you weren't supposed to knock them off, you were supposed to die a little. You have like no health left. What is with me and like leaving a, like very little health? No, it's you're, like almost dead. Why do you have to be a butt? Like seriously, die, please. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> just... You had to have one last laugh where you're just eating a few of my Pikmin. Of course. Couldn't possibly just not. Oh, hey, you ran... Oh, look, a mango. <laughs> Your one true weakness all along. Light bulbs. <laughs> ah! Oh, it's you. You exist still. Somehow. <laughs> um, okay. Brittany, it's wonderful to see you. Well, I'm unharmed, somehow. <laughs> I must apologize for the stench. <laughs> it's not a flower garden in there? Wow, my perception of anatomy is totally different now. <laughs> How can you smell when we're wearing spacesuits? I don't understand. But, uh, yes, just breathe through your mouths. You, you know, you can still kind of smell when you breathe through your mouth. It's just not as, uh... Noticeable, I guess. Oh, we found the Drake, but we're still stuck here because we need a key thing. Darn it! Do you have a key thing? It's gone! Without that, we're stranded here! No! Oh, wait a second. I found a data file. Oh, well, that's convenient. <laughs> I thought it was just some old junk at the time, but maybe not! Read it. Oh, alright. Okay! Found a key today! It says something about Cosmic Drive on it! I doubt it's worth very much. Oh, well! Gosh. If I ever get back to Henry, I'll just give it to my son. Ah, well, you know, the search for treasure continues. There's gotta be gold on this planet somewhere. Well, isn't this just a convenient little plot device? This Olmar fellow found a report until recently. How did the report get into the beast? I... what? <laughs> I don't understand, but, uh, he has her key, probably! What a jerk. Uh, he must have landed on Pfn 4 4 shortly before we did. Hmm. Well, unfortunate, maybe. I don't know. Hooray! So, now that this guy's dead, we have... Three captains. I almost said four for some reason, which would have been horribly wrong, but details. Uh, so yeah, we still have a little bit of the day left. I'm gonna go ahead and just get the, uh, the fruit and such. Uh, yes. Go, my Pikmin friends. Uh, let me just check something real quick. Back at the place, are there still Pikmin here? No, there's not. There's a dead carcass of a guy. Um, there should be Pikmin... Well, actually... I'll get back to the Pikmin with the berries in a moment. Uh, you might notice the Pikmin are going this way, a way we haven't gone yet. Yeah, this is kind of a dirty little maneuver the game developers decided to do. There's actually like a box here that is a shortcut back to like the landing site. Also, this is right by the berry plant anyway, so that's awful convenient. <laughs> but, you know, details. Yeah, when I first played this game, I didn't realize that the Pikmin would go this way, and then I never went this way myself. So, much to my surprise when the day ended, uh, yeah, I, I didn't get the treasure. Well, I didn't get the carcass or the fruit. It was a fun day. Um, Pikmin, you guys need to stop getting berries now. I do not wish to leave you behind this day. No, sir, he, Bob. Oh, you guys are gonna go right by the water spitter dudes again. 
Hooray, water spitter dudes! You actually spit water this time, but it didn't really do a whole lot. Hey, you, you exist. Please stop with the existing. Ha! I threw elf at you! <laughs> Take that! This is obviously working. Let me just kind of ignore you a little bit. Ah, uh, there we go. Now I have more yellow Pikmin to work with. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and murder your face because, uh, somehow you didn't actually kill any of my, well, I'd say any, but I more meant many, but details. Um, oh, there's still Pikmin, uh, getting berries, apparently. You wanna stop that? I don't wanna, like, uh, have problems here. There's still two Pikmin out somewhere that I need to find. Uh, where could you be, uh, even? I probably left them behind in the cave, maybe. But where? <laughs> uh, rock Pikmin! Oh, you're... You can't see it, but the game radar cop pad thing says they're, like, right below those flower things. Yeah, it's pretty great. I don't know if I can get back there in time, but I'm gonna try. Captain Charlie to the rescue! You've got ten seconds to make it to your Pikmin friends! It would help if I would go the correct direction. Yeah, those guys aren't gonna get saved in time. It's unfortunate, but, uh, true, I guess. Darn it! I don't like those flowers, by the way, because for whatever reason... Pikmin like to fall through them, and it's kind of annoying, actually. <laughs> but, we saved Captain Charlie, and we killed a guy who ate him. It is a beautiful day in Pikminville, as we fly away from the snowy seclusion. Well, it's not really a seclusion, but it is snowy, that is for sure. Yeah, like, half the reason I actually scrapped the previous recording is because I kind of made it to the boss, but didn't have time to actually beat him, and it, I just felt that that would be really awkward. So, <laughs> I felt it was necessary to re-record it. Heroines tear? Oh, man. Sometimes even heroines cry. Is it like, heroine, heroine? Uh, heroine is the bad stuff. I don't want to deal with heroines, but I don't know if it's pronounced that way or not. English was never my best subject. I don't know if you guys knew that or not. <laughs> but details. <laughs> Until we find Olimar and get our key from him, the three of us will be stuck here. It's more important than ever to find food. Oh, well, it's okay, Brittany. We still have ten. And by ten, I mean nine. I can math. We still have plenty of juice left. Well, that's good. I was actually worried. And... Whoop, we got a bunch of stuff, including a Charlie. Worth noting that we actually will not be losing any of our captains anymore, so we're stuck with three captains the rest of the game. Kinda nice, cause, um... I don't know, it was just a little silly that uh, we lost Brittany the previous day, but, uh, I don't know, that's just me. This game is kind of like... Well, I, I would say Pikmin 1 was more like Exploration Land, and uh, Pikmin 2 is more like Collectathon, Maze Land. This game's more like Objective Land, really. <laughs> it's just I don't know. It's just the way I kind of depict it. Oh man, we beat up a thing and found a captain, and now we have to go find another captain who has our keys! What a jerk. Who steals someone's keys? Is it a cliff key? I don't think so. It's Olimar. We have to go find that guy. But where is he? I don't even know. I guess we'll have to find out next time. You see, this is why I wanted to mention the previous save file, because it would have been obvious at this point. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Next time, we're gonna... I don't actually know where we're going. I guess we'll find out next time. So, I uh, will see you later, and goodbye!